Her Majesty the Queen, Prince Philip and the Royal Children are greeted at Waterloo Station where they have come to welcome home the Queen Mother from her visit to America and Canada. Under his father's guidance, Prince Charles joins in the handshakes. Lord Allenbrook, the Lord Lieutenant of London, greets the children. Princess Anne wears an outfit of green velvet and sets a new fashion for youngsters with a cosy, fur-trimmed muff. To add to the excitement of their grandmother's return, the two children come face to face with an officer of the Household Cavalry Escort, a resplendent figure in his bright uniform. With unconcealed awe and admiration, the Duke of Cornwall makes a thorough inspection. Sir Winston Churchill heads a small party of distinguished ministers who are to greet the Queen Mother. Owing to a severe cold, Princess Margaret is unable to join her family for the royal welcome home. The special train arrives exactly on time, bringing the Queen Mother back to London. Eager eyes search each carriage, and then with a cry, there's Granny, the children wave their welcome. The Queen Mother, who wears a coat of powder blue, is greeted by the party of ministers who include the American Ambassador and the Canadian High Commissioner representing the two countries where Her Majesty has spent the last five weeks. An open landau waits to drive the royal party back to Clarence House where they will take lunch. Princess Anne obviously thinks it's time to leave. The Queen Mother makes sure her granddaughter can't fall off the seat and the Royal Party is almost ready to begin the drive through London. Within three hours of her return home, the Queen Mother, whose charm and sincerity enchanted millions across the Atlantic, makes a visit to a sick friend. It is a gesture typical of this gracious and greatly loved Royal Lady.